time they speak to me, they yell at me. Like, I don't want to engage in a conversation with them because they speak so loud, so strong, so pushy that I don't want to have a conversation with them. I decline. I only talk to them when I have to. Now, wouldn't it be nice if this person would be humble enough to me or somebody to say something nicely and maybe change his tone a bit or her tone, you know what I mean? Just change the tone a little bit. So voice sometimes carries a tone that is repellent to others. Yeah, so it depends where you've come from and what culture you have um, and, and you know how you were spoken to by your, by your parents and your leaders, people that you looked up to, that influenced you, teachers. So how do you know that is you've got to listen back to a recording? You stick the recorder on when you're having these conversations, listen back. And we all don't like the sound of our own voice. Well, let's face it, we don't like the sound of our own voice. We go, oh my goodness, did I really say that? <coughs> we tend to not like the sound of our voice. But the reality is that's how you sound, right? But what can you change? You can change different tones, like it doesn't sound all really strong and harsh, or it doesn't sound like soft all the time, like that. Well, it doesn't sound like this and like so annoying, you know? It's like, because see, this is going to affect my message. There's certain people that would not listen to me if I start to speak like this. First of all, I could never work on television like this, or radio. Absolutely, nobody would even interview me for a podcast or anything. But you wouldn't know, would you? Like, so, so it affects the message. Sometimes people aren't listening to you because of something. You know, it's like you've got a piece of food on your face and it's stuck there, and nobody knows it's there. You're like, and it's annoying, you know. 